Ryan, as the 2011 uh, AEA Convention and Trade Show comes to a close, we've had a fun time this week with a bunch of major announcements. Obviously, the announcement of Garmin's GTN 650 and 750 got everybody all a buzz, but you folks have a better involvement than most. Tell us about the ACU. Absolutely. Mid-Continent Instruments was lucky enough to come out with our MD41 slash 1510. It's the accompanying ACU, the Annunciation Control Unit for the GTN 750 and 650, like you said. Um, the interesting thing about that is that it has the suspend mode on it uh, to suspend from waypoint to waypoint. It's a nice little button there. And then also the loss of integrity is another function that assists with that. Now, how will this overall be utilized in a typical installation? Well, in the typical installation, you have your GPS unit off to the side, so to have some of the enunciation that's important to the pilot in the, your primary field of view, we have the ACU that's put right in there, right in the front, so that the pilot can access uh, some of those quick adjustments that they need to change from OBS mode or the CDI and uh, fly the aircraft. What's availability and pricing look like? Readily available right now, just like the Garmin units, and they're about $1,100. Now, getting into a partnership on a project like this has uh, got to be a feather in your cap. How did this come about? Absolutely. Uh, Midcontinent Instruments has a pretty good history with Garmin. We make some of their CDIs and uh, several other ACUs, including the one for the Garmin 430s and 530s that the new unit's going to be replacing. Now, obviously, that's not the only thing that you folks were talking about this week. You have new developments on both the ELT and radar front. What's new? Some of our new service capabilities that we have include some of the ART 2000s and 2100s. Those are ready for overhaul exchange pool. We can get those in and out. Generally, if we don't have one in stock, three to five days. And then also, like you mentioned, the Kanadi LTs. We're now a repair and warranty repair station for them. So they have the standard and compact ELTs, and we can repair and warranty repair the standards and uh, warranty replace the compacts until they come out with a maintenance manual for that. What's the rationale behind uh, your involvement in the radar arena? We wanted some more service capabilities, and so we wanted to be able to get into some radar stuff, and so we figured ART 2000s, 2100s, there was a pretty high demand for those. They're in quite a few of the aircraft that Midcontinent Instruments already provide services for, and so we uh, added that to our service capabilities. And where might we see you uh, devoting your resources in the future? Obviously, with you spreading out the way you are over so many different aspects of avionics and with such a great grounding first in instruments and now in uh, power issues and so forth, where's the next place we might see MCI? Well, um, as MCI grows and evolves, we're going to uh, continue to listen to our customers' needs and uh, con continue to evolve as aviation starts to turn around here and, and provide the best services that we can for the customers that we have. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.